Hello. We are going to graph the path of a projectile motion which is according to scale of our measurements. The first thing you must measure of course is the angle. Now we can graph it in one graph with all five launching angles or we can graph it in separate graphs. So let's begin with the 15 degree angle. The first thing you must do is to identify your x axis in your graph. So take a ruler okay, and draw an x axis on a piece of paper. Now while you have drawn the x-axis on the piece of paper you can also mark your launching position at zero for example and then place the scale by one centimeter that is if you are not using a graph paper because you can actually graph on this piece of paper since the main measurement in the x-axis, which is the range, as well as the y-axis, which is the maximum height. Now identify the center of your horizontal line. In this case, it's at 10. Okay? Now, from there, take your degree scale And then place the degree scale where your launching position is at zero. From there, read 15 degrees because that's the first angle where we launched our projectile. So that's 15 degrees right over here. Okay? Now keep the pencil at 15 degrees and go back to your table. At 15 degrees, the range which you have measured or calculated, because the two numbers are very near each other, okay, is 0 0.64 meters. In this case, you cannot place 0 0.6 meters because that's equivalent to 60 centimeters. Instead, we have to do what we call a scale of our graph. So how do we scale our graph in this case? The best scale that we can use is, let's write it up here, scale for every one meter, you can make an equivalent of 10 centimeters. In this case, we can write a summary of our 15 degrees. So how do we write that? If your X measured or X calculated is equal to 0 0.64 meters. What is the equivalent value in centimeters? In this case, it will be equal to, according to the scale, just multiply it, 6.4 centimeters. If the Y maximum, the maximum height of the projectile has reached is equivalent to, let's go back to the table, at 15 degrees, the maximum vertical height is 0 0.068 in meters. So let's write it down in our graph, 0 0.068 in meters, multiply it by 10, you will get 0 0.68 centimeters. The first thing that you must plot is the length or the horizontal measurement 
the range so let's see at 15 degrees remember this angle that we measured the range of the projectile is at 6.4 centimeters so that would be 6.4 centimeters is right over here that's how far the projectile will travel okay next the y maximum is at 0 0.68 centimeters now where do we put the y maximum usually the maximum height of a projectile occurs at the center of or at the halfway of the trajectory or the path so if the length or the range is 6.4 centimeters that means the maximum height will be at half of 6.4 that would be 3.2 so this will be 0 1 2 3 okay point 2 at the 3.2 that's halfway of 6.4 you can draw a vertical line which is very light okay because that's where you will trace your projectile with your maximum height again what's the maximum height that we have calculated 0 0.068 meters by scale 0 0.68 centimeters so that's less than one centi okay so at 3.2 0 0.68 which is almost 0 0.7 is up to this point okay so now it's time to draw it's time to draw our projectile or the trajectory how do you do that if you have a French curve you can use it but if you don't have you can just use your hand the technique is that first place the pencil on the launching position take a ruler and point the ruler at the 15 degree angle and your line should not go above this scale or mastera instead it should make a gentle curve okay that will reach up to the top once you reach the maximum height it should fall down to your maximum range or horizontal range so just make sure that the line is smooth you can trace it again and finally you can label this as your 15 degree trajectory this is your X and this is your Y maximum so that's how you will draw the 15 degrees what about the next angle let us take another example okay the next angle is 30 degrees but let us take 45 degrees at 45 degrees so let's write it on our paper at 45 degrees x measured or x calculated is equal to 1.13 meters this will scale down to 11.3 centi y maximum is equal to 0 0.29 meters this will scale to 2.9 centi this is at 45 degrees let's graph it on top of our 15 degrees so again get your degree scale place it at 0 from there measure your 45 degrees so 0 10 20 30 45 degrees is right over here okay now we know that the range is 11.3 centi so we'll take our degree scale and uh, sorry our mastera 11.3 is this is 10 
this is 11 11.3 1 2 3 is right over here okay that's 11.3 next we'll take 11.3 divided by 2 to find the maximum height position that would be at 5.65 so again take your master your ruler find 5.65 this is 5 5.5 5.65 is between 5.5 and 5.7 again draw a vertical line to mark the midpoint of your trajectory that's where we will identify maximum height okay maximum height 0 0.29 meters it will be scaled to 2.9 centimeters so take your ruler and from the X axis measure 2.9 centimeters that's the maximum height of 45 degrees now remember that this is 45 degrees that's Y maximum at 45 degrees okay take your ruler take your ruler and your pencil place the ruler at 45 degrees but the projectile because of gravity will curve and it will go maximum of 5.65 in this case centimeters so the curve will be something like this okay and then continue at the top it will start to fall when it falls it will reach this point only there so this is your angle of 45 degrees that's the trajectory that's how you make the graph of projectile motion according to scale